Hello everyone, Fabian's Media Corner 2001. Here's a VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for May 1st, 2021. And yep, we're already into the next month of 2021 of May. Time does fly by fast, doesn't it? Well, okay, today's video I'm going to be showing a total of... Seventeen VHS tapes, three DVDs, and four DVDs actually. A mistake, and one Blu-ray. I've gotten over the past uh, days. So uh, I will go in detail on when I got all the stuff as we go into the video. There might be some new stuff I haven't even mentioned yet, but if there are new ones, I'll. Well, I'm pretty much going to uh, say when I afforded most of the stuff. With the exception of two DVDs, which I picked up from Dollar General last Thursday. I'll give an exact date when I show them off, but uh, <clears throat> without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. So, I'm going to start with the three tapes I got from eBay last Friday, April 23rd. And uh, this first one here, this I won as a bid auction on Saturday, April 17th, and I got this one on the 23rd. This is the 2002 Warner Home Video VHS of VeggieTales King George and the Ducky. I also have the 2000 Lyric Studios VHS, and that copy has the sticker label, and the 2000 Warren Entertainment VHS, that is the black tape. I have this one. I've been wanting to get this copy for a while. I found it. For the collection. Print dates October 18th, 2002. And this one I had to rewind. Okay, next up, uh. that. Okay, this, for these next two tapes, these were in a lot bundle, and I also won these as a bid auction. And I won these tapes on April 19th, and once again, I didn't get them till April 23rd. Just like this tape, so. Here are the two tapes I got as a lot bundle. These are 1999 Lyric Studios VHSs of VeggieTales, Very Zoe Songs, and Josh and the Big Wall. The black tape releases. <clears throat> so they're the original prints. I'm going to start with very silly songs first. I have two copies of the 1997 Warrior Neverland Entertainment VHS. The 2000 Green Tape Lyric Studios VHS. Two copies of it, actually. Uh, Uh, and the 2002 One Home Video VHS, I think that's all the releases of the VHS I currently have, from what I can think of. I also have this on DVD in the Complete Silly Song Collection set from Sony Wonder. The printing on this one is April 23rd, 1999. Yes, this is the original print. I had to rewind this tape. Same here with this next one. Of course, it's still 1999 Lyric Studios VHS of Josh and the Big Wall. Okay, I have the 2000 Green Tape Lyric Studios VHS, uh, 2002 One Home Video VHS. And I think that's it of this tape, from what I know. That's all I can remember at this point. Print date's also April 23rd, 1999. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. The next six VHS tapes, I received them on Monday. That is gonna be, uh, April 26. So, here we go. If 
y'all saw my previous update, y'all have an idea on when I ordered the next six tapes. I'm actually going to be getting another copy of this tape soon. I'm actually going to show that at the end of the video. It hasn't came in though, but I'm going to show you uh, exactly what I ordered. This one I also had to rewind. Print date's August 28, 1999. Even though it's a 1998 VHS, but it still got the content from the 1998 VHS. Although what it appears to be... I guess a 99 release? I don't know, because it's got the Larry Boy in the Fifth Amount of sp Space preview on it, so... And I haven't seen any other... Well, there goes that typical speed racer looking ass. But, uh... Next tape. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that kind of interrupted my sentence. As I was saying, that guy wants me to forgive him. VHS looks to be the uh, 99 tape, I guess. Because it's got the Larry Boy in the Fifth from Outer Space preview on it. And I haven't seen any other earlier Lyric Studios releases. Because I don't think anybody has that. Unless that's the only release. Of Lyric Studios, the earliest. And for this video, I have the like a two thousands Warden Entertainment reprint VHS as a green tape, but it comes in like the ninety four casing. Print date table nine two thousand one. This is the green tape copy of Lyric Studios two thousand. Alright, next tape. Oh, I do have the... I guess it's the 95 release of the Warden Entertainment VHS of Rack Shack and Benny. I actually have two copies of that release. One with the size reels and one with the regular reels. This one I also had to rewind, and the print date on this is February 28, 1999. I checked it, it's still the original 1998 VHS. At this point, I don't feel like going in detail on what other VeggieTales releases I have, because it'll, it'll probably take too long, which it pretty much did, so I'm just going to go in and show off the, the stuff from here on out. But for this one, I will tell you, um, I do have another Lyric Studios VHS of this video. That is a 2000 VHS as the green tape. This one is a black tape and what was also supposed to be a 1999 VHS, but print date on this is February 14th, 2000. So this one ended up having the Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed trailer on it. I did check. So this is not the 1999 VHS I was hoping to get, but whatever. That might change at the end of the video. You'll see why. And here's another uh, downside with one of my orders. <clears throat> I have ordered the 2001 Lyric Studios VHS of this video, but as you can see, I ended up with another Word Entertainment VHS of this video. I already have a, a Word Entertainment copy of this. I think this case is in better condition than the other one I have though. The one from Word. The other Word tape I had. Uh, print date on this one is March 6, 2001. The other copy I have was printed on February 22nd, 2001. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate I didn't get the Lyric Studios release I've ordered, but I guess I'll keep this. In the meantime, I'll have to search for another copy of the 2001 Lyric Studios VHS. Uh, I might order that later tonight, 
And I just hope to God it's the actual Lyric Studios tape I've been wanting to get. I'll say right now. <clears throat> this is the 2002 release. If y'all were wondering why I forwarded another one home video VHS of this. The other one I had is the 2004 release. This one is the 2002 release without the extra content. But being a VeggieTales VHS DVD collector, uh, it's pretty much getting every single release, uh, almost every single release in existence. It's my specialty for VeggieTales collecting. Printing on this one's October 25th, 2002, by the way. And this one I also had to rewind. And I will be getting three more VeggieTales tapes from FETC 728 real soon. I don't know when exactly, but uh, I'll let y'all know if, uh, when that time comes. Of when they're going to be shipped out and when I have to pay him for the three tapes. Along with some other stuff I'm getting from him. Here's another Lyric Studios VHS of Rack Shack Benny. The only difference with this one, it's the original print. Print dates July 16th, 1998, and it's a black tape. And the reels are very yellowed on this tape, but I'm sure it'll still work. That other one right there I showed you was the 2000 green tape print. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? This tape right here at the top and the next two I'm going to show you are the ones I got on Tuesday, April 27th. Before that disastrous uh, rain and hailstorms I had here in town and here in the state and over the past few days. It was pretty bad. But, uh... Yep. This is the original print of Barney's Funding Games. Because so I do have the 2000 Lyric Studios VHS, part of the Fantastic Value Pack box set number 2. This is the original 1996 print. Or is it? Take a look at this. This is the copy I've ordered. The one with the oversized reels and the 98 reprint. You see here, the print date's March 15th, 1998. Yes, it's got an updated label too. I was so lucky to find this. It was nearly $15, but it was worth it. This copy is pretty cool. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Alright. Uh, next tape. I don't even know if I told y'all about this one at all. But while I pull out when I avoided this, I also have another copy of this. Actually, it's a different release. 1997 VHS that comes uh, in the PBS Kids Pack of Palace box set. Now, it's from Turn to Home Entertainment and Warner Home Video. But really, Warner Home Video. To be honest with you. Uh, when did I order this? I ordered this tape on April 21st. Uh, you know what? That Warner Home Video VHS then. Of David the Giant Pickle, I also forwarded on April 21st. Because I don't think it's a tape I've told you about at all. I don't think. I could be wrong. Comes <clears throat> of an insert. Show off in a second. Print dates March 1st, 1995. Here's an insert. And check this out. This actually has a mini post to advertising uh, Barney Safety, which I do have on VHS. And that's a Canadian copy. And it somehow still came in the, the slipcase. Even though most Barney uh, Canadian VHS tapes come in clamshells. And that is another similar thing which I'm going to show off at the end of the video. You'll find out why. But let's continue. 
Alright. Okay. Uh, here's another one I also ordered on April 21st. Another one I probably didn't tell you about. Uh, did I receive this with anything else? I received this on April 28th. I'm going to see if I received it with anything else. Uh, I don't think so, though. I don't think, anyway. If I can even pull it up, uh, quickly. Nope. I don't think so. Maybe it's one of the DVDs. This is another VHS I have, uh, from Lyric Studios 2000. Also part of the Fantastic Value Pack box in number two. This one I also had to rewind. This is a from a rental from Hollywood video. And the print date on this one's April 8th, 1998. So I peeled off some of the Hollywood video and label to reveal the print date. Okay. Next tape. Got this one on April 29th. <clears throat> This is a 1998 Lyric Studios VHS of VeggieTales Who is God when I'm scared. I also have the 1996 Warden Timmy VHS. And the only reason why I'm mentioning that is because that's the only copy of the VHS I currently own so far. Now, I have another one right here. I'd like to find uh, a one-home video copy of this tape soon. Either the 2002 release, or maybe even the 2004 Classics release. Maybe even both, but... They're both pretty rare, equally, so... Whatever I could find for now, I suppose. Print date's February 13th, 1999. Reprint, but, uh... It's still got the 1998 previews on it. Check this one. Alright. And here's one I... No. Actually... Two I got yesterday. This one's a really rare tape. It is my third Neon Mickey VHS. Or maybe fourth, because I actually do have another one. But it looks like it comes in a source of Mickey case. It's the 1986 VHS of the Happiest Millionaire. But that does have the Neon Mickey logo on it. Not the home entertainment one, but the home video byline one. So I guess that could count. But overall, this is my third Neon Mickey VHS that comes in this type of clamshell. And I found it for really cheap too, so I was lucky to find this. There is a print date. It's on the lid. The print date on this is uh, October 22nd, 1984. This one has a big stick label on it. Unfortunately, there's no Walt Disney Home Video logo engraved inside. So. Alright, and here's another tape I also got yesterday. There's another copy of the Lyric Studios VHS of Madam Blueberry. The current one I have is a uh, black tape. For this one, it's a uh, green tape release. Print date on this one's May 25th, 2000, and this one I also had to rewind. I've been looking for a green tape copy of this for the longest time. I only found one. And now for the last tape. This one I got today. Same situation why I have this. It's That one home video VHS is out. Another release. The 2003 Classics release. This one. It's just the regular without the extra content. The case is in pretty bad condition. I'm gonna have to fix this. I had to rewind this one, as you can see. I need to. Printed on this one's September 13, 2002. And now for the, the DVDs. <coughs> Which, uh... This is a 20th Century Fox Kids double feature DVD of Bob the Builder, Yes We Can, and Thomas and Friends Songs from the Station. Both DVDs were released in 2005. This is a 20th Century Fox Kids double feature DVD from 2007. And I'm trying to figure out when I got this. 
Uh, I forwarded this one on April 14th, and I got it on April 21st. The stopper feature was pretty hard to find. I was so lucky to come across a copy on eBay. It was a little bit pricey, but it was worth it. Because I didn't have these DVDs at all anyway, so why not? I had the extra money to pay for these anyway. So here's Bob the Builder, Yes We Can, and Thomas and Friends Songs from the Station. And they both have the Twin Century Fox Home Entertainment logo on the discs, as you can see. Alright. Now, here are the two DVDs I picked up from Dollar General uh, last Thursday, April 22nd. DVDs from 2006, but uh, the case designs from 2011, so this is a reprint reissue. And both DVDs I bought from Dollar General uh, April 22nd were both brand new, sealed, never used. Mm, looks like I'm gonna have to. Here's Windows Movie Maker for this one. For this video. But uh this one's a flipper disc. Side days. Uh white screen only? What's on the other side of the desk? Well full screen? Okay, so this side only has the movie, but in widescreen. Uh the other side it's the special features. Honestly, that's pretty weird how they did it this way. If it's not different formats, <clears throat> no, no full screen on here, then why would they do it this way? Oh, well. And here's a bonus CD that I came with. An NGM 1980s Decades Collection CD featuring various songs from uh, various movies. Uh... This one's from 2007. It's an insert. Uh, featuring other decades collections from MGM. Like 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, and more than 1980s. I'm not going to go in de detail on what I have, but I will tell you that there are, there's a few I might get if I come across them, unless I want to order them, which I will at a later point, depending on what movies I have. I know I have this one, but on VHS, right here. Alright, here's the final DVD for the update. This one I also got on Monday. Uh, uh, April 26th. This one came brand new. Bought this one brand new. I'm so close to completing my Married with Children DVD collection. I just need to complete 9th season, the complete 10th season, and the complete 11th and final season, and then I would have every single one. I'm getting close. Slowly but surely, I'm gonna get this collection done. The complete 11th season though, it's gonna be on the pricey side just to get the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment release, but... I don't care. I'm gonna get it. Cause I want them all to match up. Honestly, I'm going to get pissed if I don't get to match them up correctly. And so far, I have matched up everything. So that's good. Speaking of the, complaint, of the complete 9th season, I did order that recently from eBay. I don't think I told y'all. Unless I did in previous update, but if I didn't, I'll update y'all right now. Well, after I get done showing off the stuff. 
Anyway, here's the case with discs 1 and 2, episodes 1 through 18. Sorry. This, this case is kind of hard to keep open. I'm trying to show. We all this inside artwork. But this case doesn't want to cooperate, as you could probably already tell. Uh, right. yeah. Nope. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay. And here's disc 3, with episodes 19 through 26. Great, nice knowing my camcorder is starting on low battery. I'm going to have to be quick on this one. I think I drained out my battery on this uh, camcorder. For whenever I did that Blue's Clues VHS collection, 2021 edition. Alright. Did I show this already? Okay, just to make sure. Although, I'm pretty sure I did show this already, but... I'm gonna... Sh just to make sure. This one I do have. I got that one recently. I see I know. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all can tell, but right here it's a little faded, but... It's fine. Not a big deal. Alright, let me see if I can get all of this back in. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you the last thing for the update, which is the Blu-ray. Which... I think it's another item I never told you about, but uh... I'm going to pull out the date for it right now. But uh, while I do that, I also got this one on April 26th. So let me go ahead and pull out the date on when I forwarded this. I forwarded this one off of eBay, and this is my first ever VeggieTales Blu-ray. Uh, this one I ordered on April 21st. You know what, and that Winnie the Pooh Neon Mickey VHS I ordered on April 22nd. I think I might have told y'all already. Like I said, there might be a few things I never told y'all. But, uh, you know, I try my best to keep y'all up to date. It's not easy as it looks. Alright, here's the Blu-ray disc, and here's the DVD disc. The DVD originally released individually in 2007. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack that um, came out in 2012. And, uh, I bought this one used. And before in this video, I have ordered more stuff than I didn't even tell you about. Okay, first off, here's a fail. Uh, <clears throat> another bid auction, but this one actually gone wrong. It was on the 2001 VHS of Little Bill, Me and My Family. I originally won this as a bid auction on April 24th, but... Give me one second. Come on! There we go. It got cancelled. The silver cancelled the order. Didn't even tell me either. So I ended up getting a refund on this instead. So unfortunately, I still have no way of getting this tape. I'm gonna have to find another. Uh, Alright. Right here's the <clears throat> 2002 Ward Entertainment VHS tapes of Heroes of the Bible. Uh, the two that come in small little clamshells. I do have these, but uh, they're the 2002 hit and the teammate releases that come in tall loot clamshells. If you're wondering why I ordered another Lyric Studios VHS of Larry Boy in the fifth mile space, I'm gonna show you right now. 
Alright. If this right there. Yep, this is the original, original print. Original 1999 Lyric Studios VHS. I was hoping to get the first time, but no. I ended up getting a 2000 reprint with the Larry Boy and the Rumor Week trailer on it. So that's why I bought it. And it was so cheap too, so why not? Okay, next tape is uh, Barney's Sensational Day, the original 1997 VHS. And here's the complete 9 season DVD of Married with Children. And there are the dates from when I've ordered this stuff, so that way I won't have to tell y'all. Five more items, and then we're going to end the video here. Original 1997 cover, or reaches of Camp Wanna Run Around. I have the 1999 version. And little did I know, I did not realize about this. I was only looking at the cover at the time and trying to find one for the cheapest price possible because some of the Sparney stuff is going out of stock already. Uh, yeah, I'm actually getting a Canadian copy. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to this and I was shocked on how I am somehow, I somehow ordered a Canadian copy without realizing. <laughs> I got lucky there. But, uh, next item is, uh, the original 1997 VHS of Barney's Misco Scrapbook. And then the 2000 Lyric Studio Screen Tape VHS of God wants me to forgive them. And right here, this one I ordered last night. This is a holy grail, because this tape is extremely rare. It's a VeggieTales Classics VHS of All You My Neighbor, but this one's the extremely rare 2006 Sony Wonder VHS. But low key, this one has different content on it, which if you VeggieTales fans are watching, then you probably know what's on this tape, but nice collectible to have nonetheless. And one final thing, I forwarded this one uh, <clears throat> earlier today. And I'm so glad I afforded this one just now because this is a DVD set I've been wanting to get for the longest time. Yep, this is one I afforded to just today, earlier. And that's a very good reason why I came across it and had the money to buy this because... Let me show y'all. I did have one other chance right here to get it a while back. That was in uh, last month, March... 30th, but I lost. As you can see, I got outsmarted by some other bidders, and yeah, I took the L. Yeah, look at all of these dumbass bidders. That they definitely outsmarted my ass. I'm, I'm not too good at outsmarting people on bids on eBay, unfortunately. Some of the times I am, some of the times I'm not, but. Once again, I was able to get a chance to, uh... I had a chance to get this back. I finally did. Yep, I'm so glad I got this. I've been looking for this set everywhere, and now I have found one. That will be coming in soon, and that will be showing in the next update, along with the stuff I've just shown ya. I could be ordering more once again, but... Yeah. Anyway, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this uh, VHS DVD Blu-ray update for May 1st, 2021. Thanks for watching, and take care, everybody. I will see you later. This is Fabian's Media Quarter 2001, signing out.